I'm Andy Mills of Inmodus, and we're going to demonstrate and walk you through a, a simple set of steps on how we're integrating MB DIMMs with uh, regular hard drives. So first and foremost, as you can see on the screen here, we have a, uh, a Linux console. Let me describe the setup to you very briefly. We have a super micro box here uh, with a set of MB DIMMs in, inside. Uh, we have a number of hard drives sitting in the front. And what we're going to take is the hard drive, integrate it in the software with the MVDIM, and uh, we'll show you how that's done here on the screen. So first and foremost, I started out with an existing one. I'm going to go ahead and delete the one we had so you can see the process and see how easy this, this process is. So first of all, let me, let me bring up a list program we have. Let me uh, delete. And I'm going to show you very briefly how we delete. So I've just actually removed a prior tier we had of an MBDIM and a hard drive working together here. Um, the way we typically run these things is in Linux, we have a number of devices here. Uh, I don't know if you can see this on your, your setup, but there's a number of devices we can easily see and list in the system. And here you can see the Arxis B is a driver that it identifies the MBDIM. And the MVDIM itself is obviously listed alongside your regular hard drives and your SATA DIMs and other items like that. So what we do typically, if we want to go and create a virtual volume, we're going to make a new one out of these two devices. So I want to show you how simple that is. I have a single command line. I'm typing in EVSP, which is our command line tool. We, in we in installed this earlier. We only took about five minutes, uh, less than two minutes to install. EVSP, we type EVSP create, and then we give it the name of the fast here. Oxys, in this case, is the Oxys B, is our fast tier device, and we tell it what we want to tier in the slow tier here, which is our SDB device. I press enter and go, and there you go. We now have in the system a 1.8 terabyte MVDIM, as we call it, fused with the two terabyte hard drive. And if I do one last thing here and just kind of show you the, the, uh, the list command, you're going to see now, as well as the Oxus device, we've now created this new EVA device that's, uh, that essentially is the integrated device, the Modus Tetis device. Now, today we're showing a Linux-based system. Um, that's the first uh, experimental system we put together with the, uh, the Viking team. Um, we're continuing to work and develop this, of course. We're showing integration, ease of integration. Going forward, the kind of tools um, that you expect to see uh, that we're going to be able to map. Uh, this is actually of an SSD in a hard drive, but it will give you an example of what you'll see for MVDIMs too. The red piece shows you where the MVDIM will actually live in your volume. So as you start to use the volume, this new EBA device, you're going to see how that distributes out through the system. So that's kind of the, uh, and, and from that you'll be able to tell distribution. We have a number of other statistics you can read from here. For example, I can take this uh, view here. Let me make it big screen for you guys so you can see it. Um, essentially what we can do is change the options here and we can say we can start to look at our cumulative IOs we've been doing to the system. So this particular demo system we've been running, this shows you all the reads and distributions of reads we've been doing across this now this new virtual volume that's a mix of NVDIM, uh, SSD or, or hard drives. And essentially we load balance across that curve here and it's it's kind of a more of a demo machine here so you get to see where some reads are, you can track writes, you can track a lot of different systems. So that's essentially the, the stage we're at going forward. We expect to see a lot more, uh, you know, we'll be able to do a lot more things like performance demos. We're expecting a million IOPS plus uh, from our next uh, iteration of this. Today we're seeing a couple hundred thousand IOPS, maybe half a million, uh, with some early prototype drivers in, that work with any application. That's the benefit. Now we're going to move that to a full memory tier kind of architecture and uh, give users the ability to, you know, integrate easily into their architecture a million IOPS capability with a regular old slow hard drive or SSD, whatever they want to integrate with. Okay.